this is a video to demonstrate uh, the new broadsword antennas. The antenna on the radio at the moment is a Watson W881 which was commercially bought and cost me £25 but they are available for a lot more than that. Anything up to £33, £34 you could pay. As you can see it's currently receiving Birmingham Vormat and I'm just going to do a bit of a scan on it. That's Birmingham Tower. I'm now going to put on uh, my equivalent, which is the D881. The D881 is now on, which is my equivalent to the W881. Uh, these retail up to £10 on eBay as opposed to £30. And as you can see, they do exactly the same job. That's Birmingham Vormat again. As you can see, it's a BNC connector. Other antennas I have available is the D902, which is a smaller antenna and is primarily for um, military airband, although it will receive civil, as you can see. Uh, and it does receive civil quite good, but it will work excellent on military uh, as it's cut for military uh, 225 to 400 although it does receive uh, civil as you can see again it's going to scan with it as you can see it's, it will scan and it will pick up Birmingham again and, and London but it's not as clear because it's not as uh, it's not as big as the other antennas I'm now going to put um, the D1000 on, which is a purely civil based civil, civil airlines civil band antenna. It's 22 inches in, uh, in length and it's cut for civil band and works excellent. It will also work on marine band and on um, 2 meter hand band. It will give a little bit reception on, on military. Uh, in the low part of the military, but I wouldn't. Uh, I would use it primarily for military. But as you can see, it's quite a quite a big area, and uh, it works quite well. So that's my antennas. Uh, they're all available on eBay, uh, and uh, they're at a, a fraction of the price you would you would pay for the W881, uh, and they are exactly the same as you, as you can see, and they all work. They all work excellent. Thanks for listening.